I don't know. I kind of just want to play like five hours straight of Cloud Olimar to get it through my fucking noggin. Non-stop practice. Non-stop. Non-stop Cloud. You know what? We're going on Twitter. I actually just found one. I'm just finishing this elite game. Tony Pajamas in the host of Discord. You might be just the Cloud I'm looking for. A not real Cloud player who plays Cloud at a competent enough level to piss me off. Thoughts on T's Kavya? <laughs> that shit looks like... Like... It's crazy because like T's Pac-Man is f***ing unreal. T's Kavya looks like your your local like Pac-Man player who picked up Kavya because he couldn't win and then he started getting top three your locals. But T does that like nationally. Like it's so f***ing like straightforward and unrefined in so many ways. And it just works and it's f***ing ridiculous. It's just he's also got that, you know, ridiculous Pac-Man to reinforce whatever he's doing. Leo got him last game. Yeah, it was actually crazy how many confirms he was dropping. Like easy stocks. And just, uh, mind you, it was late. Things happened, whatever. But like the fact that that could happen and it was still that close is should be should be enough of a state. All right, all right, all right. Let's do it. I like to think he's always wearing pajamas. This fucking game. This fucking game. I hate myself. I hate that move. I hate Uppy so much. I have to regularly get up here into this. Oh, come on, man. Get the head out! <laughs> gonna drill into my fucking head! I'm gonna lose to no clouds! None of them. None of those motherfuckers out there. Counter picking, solo maining, whatever it is. I hate them. I will do it. Someone's got to fucking do it with Olimar. Someone's got to do it. And it's going to be me. And I'm going to suffer so fucking much along the way. So please, drop a sub if you have one. If you can, yeah, use that Twitch Prime right now. That's why this is the cloud I need. I have to like get so uh, acclimated to like any level of cloud. His character's <laughs> best sword in the game, uh, and he's insane. So I have to be ready for whatever bullshit they're gonna pull out. Olimar pre patch was actually insane, primarily with the way that he can pressure your shield. But I doubt it would be, like, ban-worthy, because he still has all the same problems he has now. Except, I guess, his airbox is smaller, so you can't land on him as easily. But, like, you still have to do things with him. You still- your moves can still clank, they can still die on startup, he can still get pressured, he can still have to pass out of shield game, you know? Like, none of those things changed. Oops. Doing both. Try to jab him, I got real greedy. Actually, no, I have played Bluto, yeah, and Bracket. I played him in friendlies, obviously. Last time I played him in Bracket was Evo 2019, and I was shitting on him. And then he hit me with the cheesiest fucking kill. Like, he's at, like, high percent amount, like, 20. I get knocked off stage, I drift out. He jumps out there and fucking bites me and kills me at 20 in the magnifying glass. 
I was so angry. Uh, but we haven't played in, like, Bracket in years. And then Zachary. Oh my god. Zachary fucked me up in Losers, dude. That was a very badass whooping. Dude two-framed my ass with Wolf Flash. I was like, ugh! Alright, I got him back in main stage like that year, though. Oops. <laughs> Whoa! Quirky character design. <laughs> Killed me at 20. Zombie on Lamb made the game, even that shit killed me. Yeah. He was like, damn, bro, I'm losing. Hold up. <clears throat> He's like, wouldn't it be crazy if I had an armored command grab that could suicide? Wouldn't that be crazy, Leo? You can't recover from this one. Let's go. You know, Leo was thinking the whole time, like, this is fucking stupid. Like, he tweeted about Min Min, but you know he was not, he was not thrilled about that copy. think anybody is saying that you can't beat a Steve or a Kazia or whatever player. It's that you're constantly playing their game all the time. All the time. Like, you see how, like, I'm getting, like, I'm, I'm struggling with Tony Pajamas freshly picked up Cloud, right? Or, like, like you know, in progress Cloud online because I'm not able to play around his game perfectly all the time. That's kind of like what Kavia and Steve do to the whole cast. Like, hell, look, look, you know, look at how often Steve players make insane comebacks. Of course, a call up went from Luigi to Steve Kavia. Like, I don't know this kid at all, but I know that he plays bullshit characters that cheese you off minimal interactions. That's what I do know. And I'm sure he loves doing it. Don't get me wrong. I could give two f about it. It's fun. I'm sure he's a nice boy. Well, let's not, let's not deny it. I mean, you don't go from Luigi to FGC Luigi into Block Luigi and not notice a pattern. Well, he should have been hit by half of the moves, yeah. No, that's how it is. It's just, it's draining because, like, nobody can realistically, like, do it all the time. Like, you'll get spurts where you'll be able to do it, sure, and it works great. But you can't always, like... Be perfect, you know? Go poke! Pony! Like, a fast-paced, high-octane, you know, output game or whatever isn't a bad thing, but like... Like, take, like, Steve up tilt. Like, why is it... Why is it that safe? There, there is some, some shenanigans with up tilt. Like, okay, why can't you do, like, the no-impact landing with blocks? Why does Minecart have armor and invincibility? Like, take away those things, a lot easier to deal with that move because now you're not getting protected all the time. Take away invincibility on things. Make it a risk. More so than, like, perfectly punish its, its, its you know, ending window. D.I.N. and die. D.I.N. not die, though. To be honest, I have quite a few gripes about base cast things, but like, those feel more tame in a lot of ways. Of course they can't escape it. Everyone's picking it up. This is, this, look, look. That, that is a community problem through and through. We already know Sakurai makes ridiculous characters on DLC, right? But we as a community let it slide. We're like, yeah, sir, yeah, Sakurai's pretty cool. Yeah, I really like Pyro Mithra because they're very good and they, they can transform twice. And, and, and it's cool because she's got the arms in a game I played three times when it first came out. And I grew up with Minecraft because I'm, I'm 17 years old and it was really fun. And I really like Kingdom Hearts and Sora's cool, so we gotta play him. No, dude. Let's just get it out of here, dude. Let's save us the fucking frustration. All right, we escaped with fucking uh, DLC pack one being some minimal shit, 
Right, minimal. It's got Terry. It's got it's got Joker, but he's kind of like just really good, not really deals like dumb dumb. We got Hero, you know, but like we'll, we'll make do. It does bring up coming. I saw that. And do you know what we say to that? Part of the problem. Look, I mean, if we get some ban, I get it, right? Like, you know, get him out of here. We'll, we'll accelerate the process. Cool, cool. But like, I don't know, man. If I was gonna counterpick a character, like realistically, I'm picking up like Wolf, Cloud, some like nice, impossible, like not gonna get banned character. Like, not even on the on the chopping block. Uh, a character that doesn't make me want to get you know kicked in the face because I'm I'm playing some some scummy shit. You know. Tail of Fatality. All right. Fatality. Uh, so Griffin, uh, you're canceled. You are picking up Kazuya. That's extremely cringe. You're hurting the health of the game. You have to go. Was that, was that good enough?